Check out this chart right here. This is what we're going to talk about in this video as it relates to e-commerce websites. So think about Shopify, think about Magento type of websites. These websites have the most opportunity with AI right now. Now, the whole point in this video is to help you increase your website sales. And this is going to be by getting more traffic, more qualified traffic to your website. We're going to go down the rabbit hole for sure in this video. We're going to go into the DOJ case. In other words, Google, right? Google is the number one traffic source for many e-com websites. Well, Google had a big lawsuit of USA, United States of America versus Google right? Very, very important to go through this. This is 509 pages. Kind of crazy, but we'll quote it. We'll quote it. So number one, what can you do if you have an e-com website? AI enhanced semantic SEO. And at the core, this really comes down to the old school way of doing things, the old way of doing things, and the new way, the proper way, the way that actually works nowadays because things have changed on Google. So back in the day, it was all about what? Keywords, right? Let's highlight this right here. Keywords. Now it's all about entities. So what does this actually mean? So number one, keyword matching alone misses user intent. Back in the day, you would just go after one specific keyword. You might even keyword stuff. That's what the old school way was doing. So an example is best shoes for standing 12 hours. The old SEO mindset is you'd optimize for that exact match. Now, the proper way to do this is to kind of blow up that term and see hundreds of new opportunities. Now look here, this is where it gets interesting because we're going to use two tools to kind of try to try to attempt to quote unquote blow up the term to find these entity based opportunities. So if we go to Ahrefs and we type in best shoes for stand in 12 hours, right, we could even take this down. Let's just do best shoes for stand in. And we're going to see okay, for standing all day for walking and standing all day. Do you see these keyword ideas? These are really lacking because they stay in that primary vertical right? The vertical is what best shoes is the primary vertical and stand in all day is the secondary. But there's hundreds, hundreds of other entities that you could rank for on your e -com website, your primary website that could make money, right? So let's come over here to Google. Let's type in best shoes for stand in 12 hours. This is a really good place to kind of mine opportunities. These are auto suggest. This is the basis. This is really down to how Google works. It's a prediction model. Just like an LLM, nowadays Google is a prediction model. This leads perfectly into our next portion. Google learns, this is proven, Google learns from user behavior. Now, if we can figure this out, if you can figure out this next portion, you will be way ahead of the curve. You will be way ahead of your competition. This is what we focus on in my agency rank expand. So each search, and this is a direct quote from the DOJ antitrust case, right? Very recent. Each search query contributes to refining the Google search algorithm. In other words, you probably, there's a good chance you are using Google Chrome. That's a Google product. I'm using it on this video, right? If you look here, this whole browser behind me is Google Chrome. Every single thing I do is logged in Google system and it learns. And because Google is a prediction model, right? All it's trying to do is to provide a custom user experience so people don't go to ChatGPT, so they don't go to Bing, right? That's the whole thing. And if we can get ahead of it, then we are going to win. Now I want to show you where the rubber hits the road. This is the semantic branch and analysis from my agency. You can use this for free. And this is really interesting. So what we're going to do, we're going to use this tool right here. We're going to go back to Google. So remember, we typed in best shoes for stand in 12 hours. The concept I'm going to show you right now is something you can use for your website to start winning right away. So I want to know who is the number one organic search and it's right here, run, repeat, seven best shoes, blah, blah, blah. So let's come back over here to Ahrefs. I typed in that URL. I want to see their top keywords by volume. In other words, when people type in best shoes for standing all day, this ranks number one typically. And there's huge traffic here and that's great. But not every website can go after the, I call them Mike Tyson keywords, right? You can't always go after those. So what I like to do, this is very interesting. Let's sort by volume and let's see where there's no representation. This is interesting. So comfortable shoes is a huge term. 22,000 people a month type it in. And guess what? This website has or this page has 480 visitors a month off of that right? Not that much. That's not a big ratio, right? It should be more if they are ranking for that, right? If there's potential to rank for a big term on a page, we should do that so long as it doesn't cannibalize other portions of the website. I know that's a mouthful, but 
I'll say it anyways. All right, but the interesting part is, you see here, most comfortable shoes, a huge term as well, with probably really good purchase intent. They have zero representation. So when you start to pull back the veil, you'll see, oh, we're ranking for this keyword, but this one's so close to that one, why aren't we ranking for that? Now let's jump back here to the semantic branch and analysis. Let's come down here. You will see right here, let's just zoom into entity recognition. In other words, Google, this is based upon Google's NLP API. So Google has a natural language process and API, and it goes to reason because Google, that's what they're all about. So we are using Google's NLP right here, and it's pulling entities. And entities are things that Google deems important. It's based upon a knowledge graph. Entities are very important. And this is what this page has for entities. And we can see, so Brooks, this specific shoe is a very important entity. Now you can come here and do this for your own website. It's very, very helpful. And it has um, kind of an executive summary you can go through. This is all AI generated here and using Google's NLP as well. But I like this one right here, semantic branch tree. Why? Because this is validation. In other words, this will tell you what your primary semantic branch is, your semantic trunk as it calls it here, and it's shoes. And that goes to reason. We want this page to be primarily about shoes, but you'd be surprised. Some pages on some websites are about things that shouldn't be there. Now, as we dive further into the semantic SEO, so Google learns from user behavior. We talked about this, but what can you do about it? So remember what I said in the beginning of the video, how we want to blow up, quote unquote, blow up, explode a term, right? We want to see everything we can write about on the website, rank for on the website. We will sell more products that way. So here's a perfect example. So two similar blog posts compete for what? How to build a gym under 500 bucks. Page A has long text, few images, no links. Page B has a product list, expandable facts, you know, frequently asked questions, comparison table, internal links. Google sees higher clicks. This is so important. Google will see higher clicks, lower bounce rate, longer dwell time on page B. And it will start ranking it higher because users respond better. This is something Google gaslit the whole SEO community forever. They didn't, they're like, we don't do this. We don't do this. We don't use, you know, Chrome data to help us rank websites, but they 100% do. So if you have an excellent user experience at the very foundational core, then you're going to have people stay longer on your page. They're going to click around. They're going to have higher dwell times, right? And you will rank higher. Now I want to come back to this website. This is the one we were talking about earlier. This is a perfect example of a website that crushes this, right? They need to update 2024, but you know, they're still doing a great job. So let's go back to Ahrefs. Let's go to the primary overview. Look over here. This page gets 26,000 visitors a month. That is, this, this page alone makes more money than most websites, e-com websites, right? If you do it right, you can have life-changing things happen. But what's very interesting, to the point of semantic SEO, if we come over to organic keywords, this is why you do it. This is why we do this. This is why you tie together your website semantically. Watch, this is very important. These are the top keywords that people type into Google, all of these. They rank for all of these. They get traffic every single day from all of these. If you do it right, you do not have to just focus on one primary keyword. Although you should have one primary that we want to go because the line share of traffic is there, such as this one right here. The line share of traffic is here, but they understand if they have semantic connections, they are going to crush it. If you write your articles in a very specific manner, you can have results that would absolutely blow your mind. Now, before we go on, I want to say this because there's some website owners watching this video who could be a really good fit for this. So my agency, Rank Expand, offers a free semantic branch and SEO audit. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, and this is like a big guarantee, right? But I guarantee you, you've never received an audit like this. It, it's incredible. With the use of AI, NLP, APIs, it is absolutely insane. The value is crazy, but you have to apply for it because we have a lot of people asking for it. It takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of money for us to do this. You have to be a potentially good fit for our agency to work together. So if you're still watching, I'm going to save the best for last. Thanks for watching this video. Really appreciate it. So semantic understanding beats exact keyword matching. This right here, Right, we've kind of been dancing around the perimeter of the concept. I'm gonna show you three basic things. And this is straight out of the horse's mouth, out of Google's mouth. All right, so this is a paraphrase. So Google's organic search engine uses semantic models to understand entities and their relationships, not just keywords. It's smarter. Google's algorithms are smarter than a human, right? Can we just all agree upon that? So here is an exact quote. Google's exact match and phrase, phrase match types 
have now expanded beyond close variants to include semantic matching. Now, this was discussing Google Ads, and I get that, that was the ad side of Google, but are you telling me that they don't go to the organic side too? Come on, right, it all ties together. So organic SEO implication, optimizing for things, not strings, means your content should focus on entities in their context. So we have an example here, but last video, which I'll have in the description right here, goes into this in depth. I actually go over three different websites pertaining to this niche right here, an e-com niche, pretty interesting. Um, so we're gonna keep going. So this is the meat and potatoes, ABC, and they talked about this in the DOJ docs. Anchors, body, and clicks. If you want to rank a website right now, you have an e-com website that can make a lot of money, and maybe it is making a lot of money and you wanna make more, this is how you do it. Okay, so number one is anchors. This is how you do it. A, is anchors a source page pointing to a target page? This is from Google engineer H.J. Kim. I think all these quotes are from H.J. Kim. They are. So what does that mean? It means backlinks. It's really that simple. That is a backlink. A backlink, right? We all know what a backlink is, right? All right, number two, body. And this is the technical part. This is the semantic part. Kind of difficult, right? So the body is terms in the document. That's like, he only says, you know, terms in the document. And that's like a loaded statement because terms is the whole document, is the whole website. A website is a uh, accumulation of terms, of words, right? How do you do this? Uh, semantic SEO, like we talked about in this video. And the third is clicks. So historically, how long a user stayed at a particular linked page before bouncing back to the SERP. Now there's a term, not many people talk about it. It's called singleton abandonment. You could look at that in Google. That's like a really technical term, but basically Google tracks every user behavior to understand which websites to rank. So what we've done in this video is we've used the concepts that we know have been working and they work really well right now with AI. You kind of need to use AI nowadays because competition is so heightened. If you're doing this old school, you know, writing on a piece of paper, you know, not really writing on a piece of paper, but if you're just doing this off the top of your head with a website, you're not gonna make it. You need to use AI, you need to use APIs, you need to understand how all of this works. And we combined that with the DOJ documents. Now we know what Google's up to because they were required to tell us, right? Very interesting. Now remember in the beginning of the video, I showed you this chart. There's a huge problem with this chart and it's a decoupling problem, do you see? closer to the most recent date, how the traffic and impressions decouple. A lot of websites are having that, but if you do semantic SEO correctly, it does not matter because yes, there's AI overviews. Yes, that's kind of an issue, I get it. But at any point in time, if Google ever kind of releases the throttle, kind of pulls that back, which I think we're seeing right now, things are changing, right? You have to prepare your website so you can rank for multiple terms, you can rank for your primary term, and that's exactly what semantic SEO is all about. So I'm gonna leave you with two things. I encourage you to come use our free tool. So I'll have a link in the description. This is the semantic branch and analysis. This is a hyper abbreviated version of what we do in our agency. So this is just giving you a little taste, right? We go over three paragraph analysis. It's cool. It gives you a taste of how semantic SEO works. But if you have a real website, a uh, e-com website or a website that you think would benefit from a semantic branch and SEO audit, this is how we absolutely crush it for our clients. This is how you are gonna dominate your competition. Like I said in the video, I guarantee you, you've never seen value like this audit.